Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you this mid-afternoon, almost close to late afternoon, for an album review again for Kings of Leon, Can We Please Have Fun? Their 12-track album that I got done listening to for this 45-minute record, or almost 45-minute record, so I'm going to discuss what I listened to for all 12 songs, which four, three of them were singles. And let you know my thoughts on their ninth studio album, Can We Please Have Fun. So let's dive into this album review. Now basically, this is the follow-up to When You See Yourself, their eighth studio album, which honestly I didn't hate that record. Um, I mean, some of the songs were a little slow and boring. But with this one, they're trying to go back to their old sound, which was the Only By The Night era. And we're going to start it off with Ballerina Radio. This sounded like stuff from uh, the Mechanical Bowl record. Uh, or Walls, at least. Like, those records were fine. But late as they go down the road, they're going on with the industrial rock, alternative rock stuff. I gotta say, I'm highly disappointed with this record but uh ballerina radio is a 4.25 out of 5 it it's above decent but it's not one of my favorite tracks but then comes rainbow ball and that was a another it was just a decent track i just didn't feel for this one too much i mean it tried but caleb followell's vocals sounded hit or miss with this song so this is like eh, decent. It's kind of cluttery from time to time with how it's executing. And comes nowhere to run. This one was kind of a solid. It was not a bad track, just not a great one in my opinion. So I'd give it a 4.5 out of 5 for this one. Uh, Caleb Followell's vocals did have some good points, but it's the execution was the thing that had its light critiques. Well, I had my light critiques about this track, but not too many. Mustang was the first single to come out for this record, and off the bat, it was just boring. It was crap, and it's getting a 2.5 out of 5. This track has not grown on me ever since I listened to it. Uh, back in February, I think is when it came out originally. February or sometime around then, but still, it it was the worst lead single for to announce this record. Can we please have fun? So not a great start of a lead single. So two point five out of five for Mustang. I really wanted to like this, but I just couldn't because of the lyrics to something next to the toilet or whatever. It just it's like. Ugh. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, it's just the songwriting from Caleb Followell was a little redundant and not interesting. Actual Daydream was a pretty good song. I actually did dig this one. Uh, one of the highlights for this record, which the record's not very good, if I should say. But uh, we will get more into the critiques I have with this record. Sorry, this is freaking gnat that's around me. Um, I don't know why, just freaking bugs try to come in my room or whatever. I'm like, ew. But still, actual daydream, 4.75 out of 5. Split screen is a, it's above average, this track. It's not one of my personal favorites, but it's fine for what it is. Um, I'd give this one possibly a 3.75 out of 5 for split screen. Um, like I said, sorry about the thing that's in my room. It's just some little fruit fly. It's getting annoying. Don't Stop the Bleeding is a decent track. Caleb Followell's vocals are good from time to time, but it's just the execution of the melody that I'm not really pleased with too much. It's decent, but it didn't interest me too much. Nothing to Do was a strong track. I'd give this a 4.75 out of 5. I think this was one of the, an, another one of the highlights for this record. I mean, some of the 
way it sounds, it's not one of your favorite Kings of Leon songs, but it's fine. So, uh, I think it's pretty good in its own way, but it just has its hit or miss moments. M Television um, is going to get a 4.5 out of 5. I didn't hate this track necessarily, but I just think there were some critiques I had with how the melody is structurally sounding and its execution. And Caleb Volowell's vocals are good from time to time, but it has its hit or miss moments with its melody. So 4.5 out of 5. Has a chase hesitation gen I meant to say uh, with sorry about my slurring pretty much this track didn't do it for me I mean it was average at best but I think they're just trying to spark up something from the only by the night era and it's not really doing it very well in my honest opinion so I'd give this a 3.25 out of 5 this track is okay, but it's kind of cluttery from time to time, so Ease Me On is a disappointing track. I just felt bored with this one. I really wanted to like the last two songs, but they really utterly bored me. It's like, okay, let's just finish this record and see what I think of it. But overall, Ease Me On was the second to last song before you get to the closing track scene. And it's boring. Ease Me On just feels like a dud. So, it just is sluggish. It's lacklusting with how Caleb Follow is singing it. And it's just not really entertaining me in the best way possible. 2.75 out of 5. Scene is the closing track for this record. This actually tried to be good, but the execution flaw was the melody... The way Caleb Follow was singing it from time to time. But it just lyrically had the idea. But it didn't fully utilize very well with the execution of the melody and how Caleb Follow Will was singing it. So this one is a 2.75 out of 5. It tried, but it just... I didn't feel for this track too much. It felt like another slow, boring song from Kings of Leon, and that's a shame, because I really like this band, but I just felt torn by this record. So overall, production mixing and execution-wise, I found this to be highly disappointing of a ninth studio album, and not in a good way. This record had a couple flaws. Most of the tracks got from 3.25 out of 5 to... 4.75 out of 5 is the highest for the good tracks, the tolerable ones. But the problem, even for the 3.25 songs, they weren't that entertaining, but still, they were fine. But the least favorites were Mustang, Ease Me On, and Scene. I didn't really like those songs. I felt bored out of my mind listening to those tracks. And I really wanted to like Scene because of the lyrics. But it just didn't do it for me with its execution for, uh, whatchamacallit, the Caleb Followell's vocals. So, basically, I found Kings of Leon's new record, Can We Please Have Fun, to be a dud. It was just not very good. And if I were to give it an overall score, I'm going to give it a 5.5 out of 10. I'm unfortunately disappointed, because... Nine albums in, and they're trying to make something good of their newest stuff to make it sound like it's good as Only by the Night, but it's not going to top that. That was one of their best records, but I think once they got to Walls, I think Walls had some good tracks and had some hit or miss tracks, but after that, they kind of fell off, and not in a good way. Um... And it's a shame, because this is a band I grew up listening to when I was 13, uh, like 15 years ago, um, 15, 16 years ago. And I really enjoyed Only By The Night. That was a very strong record. Um, Come Around Sundown had, was an acquired taste, but it had some strong tracks. Um, and then you have 
uh, Mechanical Bull, which had some fairly decent tracks. Then Walls had some catchy tracks, but not amazing songs in any way. But then come When You See Yourself was actually probably a good record, but this one fell off big time. Because when the first single came out, I had a feeling I was going to be highly disappointed with this new record. And unfortunately I was, so I'm sorry to some Kings of Leon's fans if they don't like this review. It's just, I didn't find myself loving this record. I found myself highly disappointed with the soundscape and how it's sounding overall with the tracks and Caleb Followell's vocals are not tuning right in this record. It's just he's trying too hard to make it sound as good as Only by the Night, and it's not going to top that, unfortunately. So, I think they need to actually stick with the sound they know they're comfortable with, and try to perfect that in a good way. But other than that, yeah, 5.5 out of 10 for uh, Kings of Leon. Can we please have fun for their new album? Thank you for watching this album review today.